Good morning. I guess this might fall in the leading questions category, but will God share his glory with idols? We're at Jeremiah chapter 8, verses 18 through 22. I would comfort myself in sorrow. My heart is faint in me. Listen, the voice, the cry of the daughter of my people from a far country. Is not the Lord in Zion? Is not her king in her? Why have they provoked me to anger with their carved images, with foreign idols? The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. For the hurt of the daughter of my people, I am hurt, I am mourning. Astonishment has taken hold of me. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is there no recovery for the health of the daughter of my people? This is a wistful passage. God's people have been carried away into a foreign land. They cry out to him from captivity. The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we're not saved. God has not delivered us. They refused to turn, and now they receive the fruit of their doings. And Jeremiah, although he wasn't guilty, he sorrows for them, seeing that they're carried away into captivity. He's just filled with sorrow for them. Will this people ever return to God in heart? Is there any healing for them? And you know, it's important for us to understand that the kind of deep, heart-wrenching repentance for which we seek and which they needed, that is something that is absolutely beyond human reach. It takes a supernatural uh, intervention for us to experience that kind of a repentance. Repentance is a gift from God. It is something that is given to us. It's our choice whether we would receive that gift or not, but it's something that comes to us from God. On our own, we would not repent. We would not ever repent. We need to cooperate. We need to submit to him, submit our hearts to him, and then we can be changed. But there's a part for us. There's a decision for us to make. God could overrule our decision. He has that power, but he chooses not to. He respects the free choice he's given us, the free will that, that we have. It's part of our being made in his image. We have a Ability to make choices, make choices against a moral background. And it really comes down to how urgently we desire the change. How much do I desire that God will change my heart? And when we're looking in the text here, we're seeing a people, the kingdom of Judah, who were very hardened people, very much refusing to repent. And so God has to come all the way. He, he causes them to be Lay, siege laid to them, and all these changes to happen, changes in the leadership of the kingdom, and the people are carried away into captivity because they were too hard. They would not turn, and they would not release their hearts to him. And so they're, going to get the, they're getting the hard treatment. So where is the healing balm? Where is the physician? Well, the fact is that unless we're willing to turn to him, there isn't anything that's going to happen, nothing good. He wants us to choose him. He's not going to force us to be repentant. Truly, today is the day of salvation. Today is the day to turn and to have our hearts open to God and let him do what, whatever needs to be done in our own cases. So will we open our hearts to returning to him? Are we satisfied with our hard hearts or are we willing for him to give us a heart of flesh? Will we as a people return to him? Or will we as a people miss the harvest? Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we see here an example, an object lesson, a very sad one, of people who were too hard, too definite, too enclosed in their own bubble, and they had to go into captivity. And a lot of them never did get it. They just died in captivity, died in Babylon. Oh Lord, Help none of us to die in Babylon. Help us to be students of your word. Help us to receive a work a work from, from you, Lord, on our hearts so that we'll be changed. Please help us, Lord, to understand the times in which we're living, understand the hour that is upon us. Oh, Lord, thank you for hearing this prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, we asked if God's willing to share his glory with the idols. God is willing to send his people away into captivity before he'll share his glory with those dead idols. We've been too easily satisfied with our spiritual attainments. So let's draw closer to Jesus. Have a wonderful day in his service.